what's up welcome to the new series the logic pro x tutorial series uh today i'm be showing you guys how to sample a beat in logic pro x where you can play it on your midi keyboard or any keyboard i believe um yeah so i'm cur i currently have the oxium 25 so if you guys have that shout out to y'all but uh yeah this is what i'm gonna be showing you guys how to sample a beat so you can play it off your keyboard and have some fun all right let's get down into it first of all the first thing you're gonna need is a song that you want to sample and if you don't have a song and you're kind of like need some ideas then i suggest you go to who sampled.com to find some you know you could on here you can find you can browse the top charts and you can find who sample what beat and so on you know so after you have your song that you want to sample or sound whatever that you want to sample open up logic pro uh yeah open up logic pro x and you want to take that song mine is otis redding i've been loving you mine is otis redding i've been loving you and you want to drag it onto e logic pro x get this into frame gonna load and yeah alright so the first thing you want to do to this sound you want to right click or whatever your setting is but when you get this scroll or the settings little this bar here whatever you want to bounce in place right press ok it's gonna bounce 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 it's gonna bounce and then you're gonna have another one right here I did that because usually the first one is locked so after that, if you don't want to worry about the BPMs and you want kind of logic to do it for you, uh, what you want to do is convert to new sampler track. Again, right click again, convert to new sampler track. You should get a little window that pops up right here. And what you want to have clicked is transient markers. Uh, I believe if it's on regions, it might not work. So I don't know, but make sure it's on transient markers and then go ahead and click OK. And then you're going to get another one right here. Let's see if you can hear. Hopefully you guys can hear this. Oh, shit. All right. So hopefully you guys could hear that. Um, if you could, you notice that it was, they overlap, right? So the chopping is going to be kind of messed up. So if you want to fix that, go ahead and um, at the top here, you, you know, you're going to have your little drawers and then you have that little info button, right? So, or inspector button, I'm sorry. Go ahead and click that and then make sure you're on this and then the EXS24 plugin it should be already there so go ahead and click it then you want to go to edit on it's going to be on your right side right here I'm going to circle it because these are, these are like small buttons next to options all right and then what you want to do is Click this, click one of them, command all, one shot, it might not be selected all for you, for mine it is, so go ahead and click command all and select one shot and it's going to be selected all and you're good to go, go ahead and click exits or the exit button, X button, click, click save, the next thing you want to do, excuse me, um, Go to voices over here to your left and this one is on 16 it might be on 16 but what you want to do is double click that change it to one so this is gonna make it not overlap all right click enter you're good Put sure the power buttons on exit out of that now honestly I'm just gonna duplicate it right there and now Going down the keyboard right now. Right, so you know what? For you guys, I'm gonna get a little beat going here. Nothing too crazy, right? Uh, let's move this over here. All right. Let's go to drum kit. Something. I'm just gonna use the regular stuff. Should put an 808 in here. Uh, you know what? 
Yeah, why not? Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Alright. So, something simple. Whoa. Let's see. Something like that. I don't know. Just whatever. Just for example, right? You click mute on that, right? Or delete it. Doesn't matter. Alright, so this is just something like within maybe a minute, so whatever. This is isn't good at all, but just for example. You know, something, right? So that's been it. That's how you sample a beat and um, put it onto your keyboard so you could play it off of your keyboard. Uh, or I'm sorry, a song, sample a song, and so you could play it off of your uh, keyboard in Logic Pro X. Remember to comment, like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any other requests for tutorial purposes, let me know. Direct message me or comment below again. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Uh, more tutorials on the way. And yeah, that's been it. Peace.